Hi everybody, it's Julia here and I am back after the New Year's with a new process video using the Like Forever 2016 kit. Oh my gosh, okay. So, this is a sort of a unboxing process and share with you. So it's three videos in the price of one. <laughs> um, so first here, I'm just going to go through the kit and I'm showing you the papers and uh, they are from the Studio Calico Goldie collection. Now, um, when I first saw it, I thought, okay, it's fun, it's different, it's a very more graphic um, and sort of modern uh, than what I usually go for. Uh, I, I'm a Create Paper girl. I mean, I really like this sort of fun, fresh, mixed with a little bit of vintage feel. I really like that. So, uh, I am showing you the thickers, which is really fun. They have like a... Uh, fabric on top of them so you can miss them and they're really fun um, so yeah so first I was like yeah it's going to be so much fun and then I got the kit and there really is a lot of stuff in this kit I mean your pattern paper you get a pack of um, washi strips you get a pack of high swap tags you get this huge ephemera pack I have no idea how I'm going to use it um, you get the really fun figures a gold um, uh, twine from the DIY shop and also a mist from Heidi Swart, which I love. Oh my god, it was like the best idea ever. Uh, and I got a teal one, which I love. Okay, um, so I'm just going to spray it right here. It took a few, but I think you can really see, I mean, you can see the shine here, can't you? It's really beautiful. And of course, you have to do the splatter trick. Um, so yeah, and I thought it was really fun and I was really excited, but then I, when I got the kit I was looking through everything and I was like going to start, I was like, I don't know what I'm going to do with it. And um, yeah, and also this, okay, so I got this really cute paper bag and the children were going to save that one and got a little uh, stamp of a snowman. Which was really nice. So I'm going to start with the first and I thought I was going to do a layout, an A4 layout. And I'm going to use this paper which is the back side of that floral and I thought it looked like um, like snow sort of. Uh, it reminds me of um, you know the 101 Dalmatians. <laughs> so I took that and I'm going to use a photo of Viola from last year when she was a little baby. And I'm going to, I took out all of these sort of hexagon shapes from the Heidi Swap ephemera pack. And I'm going to spray that with the teal mist and also the navy. And I chose navy because I want to go with a black and white and blue color scheme. But I also know that um, in the kit you had, uh, there were three different colors you could get and navy was one of them. So I thought, I mean, you could have a chance of getting that. So I'm going to spray them with uh, the teal and the navy. And, uh, oh my gosh, and I really like how it looks, and I mean, these shines by Heidi Swap are amazing, they are really, really pretty. Uh, right now, they sort of look like a bit bubbly, um, but they look beautiful, <laughs> and I also go overboard, they look beautiful. So here they have dried off, and I have matted underneath my photo, I didn't film that, I put um, some washi strips. And then also uh, a washi strip that I had um, that is silver triangles. But otherwise, uh, the washi strips are from the Goldie collection. So I did that and I used the thickers and I sprayed it with the same colors, only that from the left side I started with a teal and from the right side I started with the uh, navy one. So it is sort of a sort of slight ombre effect. So now I'm going to do my journaling and uh, I decided to do it on this tag. Uh, and that is a tag by Heidi, uh, oh, Jim Holtz, the dye. So I went to my typewriter and put that on. And I'm just going to put some of this grey twine on it, just to sort of, a little bit of embellishments. So it's a really easy layout, and you can see how I made the hexagon sort of um, flow down the page. You just have a really softness uh, of movement to the page. Uh, and the page is about uh, my little Viola and how much I love her and sort of why I really love her. She is always with me when I'm at home and laying here. She doesn't lie on my bed anymore, but she lies on the carpet right next to me when I paint a scrapbook and all of that. And that's sort of why I really love her. She is my, my little Viola. 
So I'm going to use the roller date stamp, a roller date phrase stamp uh, we got in the last kit, or the kit before, uh, by Maggie Helms. And then I think I'm done, but I'm not. Uh, I add some silver glitter leaves that I cut out from different dyes. And that is it, sort of. Uh, I really like how it looks. I really like the silver and black and white and blue and uh, yeah, I really like it. So then I had sort of in crisis and I was like, I don't know what to do with these papers and uh, I just couldn't see myself using them. Uh, so what I did is I made a book. I made sort of like a little junk book, which I know is really popular to do for December Daily. Uh, I didn't want to do that, but I really wanted to try my hand at it, and I mean, I had been sewing my own books for a while, and I thought, why not make it uh, a bit bigger, so I cut the pages down, so the one page is 4x6, so half is 6x8, uh, and then the scraps are 4x8, um, uh, or 4x4, so, and just uh, saddle binding. So the papers I have left are these ones. And I have no idea what to do with the book. It was like a spur of the moment, late night, I was like watching Downton Abbey and I was like, I don't know what to do with the papers and I made this book. So like I said, I have no idea what to do with it. I think it's really cute. It's a really fun 4x6 size and um, yeah, <laughs> it took a completely different twist. But I have everything left from the kit like embellishment wise. So. Uh, I think I might try my hand at doing some more layouts, or I don't know. Uh, that is my <laughs> product that I have made with Like Forever Kate. I hope you have liked them, and um, I'm a bit uh, still in shock after making this book. So, <laughs> I mean, that's the way it is. So, uh, yeah. I just wanted to say welcome to the new year and to my channel, and I hope you have liked it, and uh, I hope to see you soon. Uh, I hope you check back on Wednesday for a new video. Bye.